Good morning, everyone. On my walk this morning in a brisk, cool day with uh, some sun rising in the background and snow, some snow on the ground. As I was walking, I was thinking about Zechariah, the father of John the Baptist, and how he had, basically because he had not believed what the angel had said about his wife Elizabeth bearing a son, he was struck dumb. In other words, he couldn't speak for the whole time of the, the gestation and the birth up until the birth of his son. And I'm thinking that's a long nine months of not being able to communicate verbally. That must have been very challenging and trying. And yet there's something amazing about silence and not being able to do something that heightens and focuses all your other senses. Years ago, I, uh, I overextended my voice considerably and I had a lot of issues with being able to, to talk and sing. And so the doctor recommended that for a whole month I not speak, not whisper, not sing, nothing. And then for the following two months after that, that when I speak, I just speak in a quiet voice, not a whisper, because whisper is worse, and still not sing. Well, for someone who is a worship uh, leader and traveled all over North America and into uh, Central and South America, leading worship in all variety of places, that felt like a death sentence for me. And yet for those three months, and especially that first month where I couldn't speak and I couldn't sing or anything, it was a huge challenge initially. But after a while, I found my senses being heightened in awareness to so many other things that I uh, I didn't notice because I was too busy, busy expressing praise to God verbally or talking generally to be able to pause and notice and take in the wonder and the grandeur of how God makes his presence known in all so many different ways that unless I quiet myself, I will never notice it. So not that I want to ever do that again. Hear me correctly, I do enjoy speaking. <laughs> I still do. But for Zechariah, I think that there were many, many things that those nine months became of utmost importance. And I believe that there was an intimacy there that was developed with his Lord and Savior that could not have happened in any other way. So during this busy, busy Christmas season, take time to find a place of peace. Take time to find a place of rest. Take time to find a place of quiet and allow God to speak to you through the stillness. God bless you, church. I'm praying for you today.